Seekers, I'm Nick. If you remember back to around Christmas time last year, I received a very special gift from a friend and fellow YouTuber, Ronnie from Tech Therapy, and he sent me my childhood dream computer. Hey Nick, what have you got? I don't know. Apparently it's for me and I'm supposed to open this on camera, so feeling a bit nervous because I actually have no idea what this is. Really familiar, it's a Commodore power supply. Oh my god, what? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually like crying right now. Are you crazy? Actually, it's a 1200 as well. Oh my god, dude. Uh, <laughs> wow, this just makes our Christmas so much better. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I can't believe this is ridiculous, man. I shouldn't get emotional about this shit, but this is like a lot of... Um, Really good childhood memories. Oh, she's so emotional. <laughs> this is definitely going on the internet. <laughs> this is a 27 year old computer and it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but this is probably one of the most powerful computers and most useful computers of its day. And it was also a very popular gaming system. Now I promised that as soon as I got new parts and upgrades for this, that I would do a video about it. So there's actually a little bit of a story about what's happening in this video. So there's a company called A1200.net and they make replacement cases for the A1200s because as you can see, they're getting on a bit and like mine's a bit broken and yeah, it's 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 old. It's 27 years old. What what more can can you want from an old product like that? So like I was saying, there's a company called A1200.net and they actually started making brand new A1200 cases from the molds of the original cases, which I thought was pretty cool. So I reached out to a1200.net and then they put me in contact with a local reseller called RetroKit. So big shout out to RetroKit for hooking us up with one of the new A1200 cases. And one of the things I always wanted growing up was a black Amiga. So what I have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a black A1200 case and the remade case. And I'm super excited because in this video, I'm going to be rebuilding my childhood dream computer in a brand new case. So yeah, uh, let's do it. I'm super excited for this. So you might be thinking, well, why do you have such an old computer? What's the point of it? Well, first of all, there's a, that, that childhood nostalgia factor and I actually use it to create some music for the channel as well. It's got some really good tracking software. It does things in such an interesting and individual way that you just can't replicate it with modern software. So there's that and there's, there's plus, there's like games like Turrican that I love playing and just heaps of old retro games. Now the thing is the community and the scene for these computers is so like huge and so like active still and it's almost unbelievable so there's lots of new bits of hardware that come out for these systems the problem is it's all super expensive so um some of the parts that i've upgraded in this cost me a, a fair bit of money but um yeah that, that's just how it is with retro computing so if you even look back at buying old consoles and stuff now it's getting really, really expensive. So I'm very grateful for Ronnie sending me the, this A1200 because I, I couldn't afford one. I, I looked on eBay the other day in Australia and one was selling for 1500 Australian dollars, which is absolutely bonkers for a 27 year old computer. So there's a few things I can't change right now on this as well. And one of them is the keyboard. I'm gonna get black keycaps for this when I can actually get my hands on them because they're quite hard to come by now. The A1200.net actually makes replacement keys, but like I said, they're kind of hard to get our hands on at the moment. They had a Kickstarter, which I missed out on a little bit earlier in the year, which would have been really awesome. But yeah, for now, we're just using the stock Amiga keyboard. I'm sorry, it's going to look a bit yellowed. Maybe I'll get around to retro brighting it, but yeah, time is never on my side with these things. There's also a few other things I've done some videos regarding upgrading. I've also changed the, the ROM chips to the latest version to run the latest version of Mega OS because 
Uh, believe it or not, they actually released a new version of Amiga OS last year, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, um, let's let's get into rebuilding it and I'll share my thoughts about the case with you guys. Let's go. Before we start, I just wanted to say that I'm by no means an Amiga expert. So um, everything I'm about to do is basically from pulling this system apart one other time, uh, long story short, uh, this was sitting underneath my desk and a liquid cooled computer decided to leak all over it. So I actually uh, pulled this motherboard out not too long ago and cleaned it and it works. So yeah, it's there's no issues with it. So yeah, there's no screws or anything uh, because I lost them <laughs> essentially. So what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I'm just gonna take this apart and we're gonna transplant it and we'll do a side-by-side -side probably before we transplant it just to show the differences with it. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take out the keyboard. It's just got a little plastic connector. We've actually done a bit of Amiga content already in the past if you're new here. So I'll put links in the description to all the other Amiga content we've done. But yeah, it's one of my favorite uh, computers of all time. Now one thing I wanted to address as well, last time that I did, I did a ROM install guide and someone in the comments actually mentioned that I should probably cover up the glass windows on the ROM chip, so I actually did do that. Uh, yeah, so let's just get everything unplugged. It's all pretty easy and straightforward to get uh, everything installed again, so yeah. So this expansion card here, we've done a video on this already. Uh, I'll put that in the description as well. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna put all of the content we've done with the Amiga stuff in the description if you wanted to check it out. Basically, this is, adds an FPU and extra RAM to the system because uh, the the base clock speed of this is quite low. It's um, like, say for instance, if you had a 50 megahertz CPU in this system, it would fly. <laughs> All right, let's let's carry on. We're almost there. Let's pull apart the new A1200K so we can get it ready and then we'll have a look at the differences between the two. So let's quickly do that. Uh, this should be pretty straightforward. It's got all new screws, which is nice. Let's get it apart. We'll put the screws elsewhere so we don't mix them up. But already it seems like the qualities of the screws are even better. And I can already notice a difference with it that I'm gonna show you in just a tick. Okay, let's take a look at the new case and the old case and just see what differences are, if there are any differences between the two. And the first thing I noticed was the trapdoor cover. This one's got venting, so if you've got more high performance parts, you can actually get a little bit more airflow, although it's probably gonna be restricted by it being underneath the case, but it's a nice idea. There's a couple extra bits of reinforcement here. These clips are different on the new case. The build quality is about the same, but one of the other things you'll notice is this will say it's manifest manufactured by a1200.net and it's got the signatures of the original engineers of designers of the original a1200 which is very very cool and pays homage to those guys putting in all their hard work way back in the day way back when I was a young wee boy. A few other little things that come with this as well are blanking plates or backing plates for things like DVI and VGA if you have a scan doubler. So this is actually quite a nice addition and basically how this would work is you would install it on into your motherboard and you have the replacement plate for the back here. So that's quite nice. That's another upgrade that's coming soon to this Amiga 1200. You will be getting, I think probably an Indivision scan doubler. So that'll be quite nice. And there's also 
a black floppy drive button to replace the beige floppy drive button that's on the original drive. So that's actually quite a nice addition. I didn't know that was included, but I'm happy that it is because it would look quite odd if it had a different color button. Okay, let's take a look at the new one and the old one. And the first thing I noticed between, like with the difference between the two is this has got nut certs now, and this has just got like straight into the plastic for the screws. This always really annoyed me because I would break these all of the time. And if you over tighten them, it just destroys them. As you can see here, I didn't do this. This is how it came. It is completely destroyed it with the screws. And I think these nut certs are excellent because they use a standard, a standard thread size, so even if you lose these screws, they're super easy to get. So yeah, it's really nice that they've upped the quality with that. But other than that, again, it's much the same. There's not much that's changed between the two. And that's kind of the point of the new case. It's kind of fixing a few of the problems with the old one and making it new again. And I, it's almost unbelievable to see that there are brand new cases for these computers after 27 years. So bravo to a1200.net for keeping the dream alive for many of us who are still really interested and still love playing with these old computers. All right, you know what time it is? It's build time. Let's do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the rebuild of my A1200. Now, just a little bit about the A1200.net project. It started out on Kickstarter or Indiegogo a few years ago. And for a Kickstarter project to actually come to fruition for such a niche type of computer is really exciting to me. And I think uh, in the 27 years since they designed the original case, the manufacturing of cases has become a lot better. So the asking price of 150 Australian dollars from RetroKit's website, I think that's a pretty fair price given that it's quite a niche product. And as, as with all niche things, they usually are quite expensive, but yeah, it's quite acceptable. Considering um, if I were to buy this case in the US, I think it's 150 US dollars as well. So RetroKit um, has priced these quite well for the Australian market. Obviously, huge shout out to RetroKit. I'll put a link to um, their website and everything in the description. Without them, I probably would never have gotten my hands on one of these cases because 
They're still pretty rare, but yeah, Retro Kit's got a lot of these in stock. So if you're in Australia and you're into Amigas, get your hands on them because yeah, they are actually pretty great build quality. Now, if I was to compare it to uh, say the OEM quality, it's better. Um, obviously plastic over 27 years does change quite a bit. So it's hard to say what it was like 27 years ago, but comparing to it now, the new one's a lot better. And obviously the keyboard looks a little bit out of place on this because it's beginning to show its age. It's yellowing a bit. I will be switching them out to black keys or maybe I can find a black keyboard as well, but that's going to be a very expensive endeavor, but it is something that I've been planning to do for this build for a very, very long time. There's also a few things that the Amiga guys are gonna be upset at me. Um, well, I'm gonna put RGB in it just because it's something to do. And I'm gonna write some scripts that will allow me to control the RGB in Workbench. So that's gonna be something that is gonna be different that I don't think many people have thought of doing yet. But yeah, RGB, I mean, it's, it's 2019 and everyone loves RGB. Well, you know, there's those who don't. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this rebuild of my 27 year old dream computer. I can't wait to cover this in 2020 some more. I do have more parts coming. I've got a new accelerator card coming that's gonna turn this thing into a music production beast. It's gonna add more RAM and all that, but we'll be doing all the benchmarking and all that stuff because yeah, they do have benchmarks to these systems. I will be doing all of that in the new year. But for now, this is our last Amiga video for the year. I'm sorry that it's taken so long, but with all things that start out on Indiegogo and Kickstarter, they do take time to get our hands on that kind of stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you're not to do and Tell us what you hated about it. You can't hate it. It's a 27 year old dream computer. <laughs> Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek. And yeah, the, the new keyboard, I think it's really gonna look really cool, the black keyboard. But for now, we'll just have to kick it with the old beige guy. Thanks for watching.